Hi folks, I, I know I haven't done a video in a long stinking time. This um, The COVID crisis has really forced my um, work to take front and center. I do have a review to do here. And this is a little bit different because I'm looking at a pack that doesn't really perfectly fit the kinds of packs that I typically look at. As you know, I'm looking for a crossover day pack and it has to have a certain set of criteria for me to even purchase the pack in the first place. Um, but I will tell you this, that COVID-19 has made commuting a completely different animal. And as a result, I'm not actually carrying a laptop with me. And when I do go out and I need a backpack, I'm really looking for something that's a pretty straightforward, simple backpack. And it doesn't need to be able to carry a laptop. At most, it needs to be able to carry my iPad. Uh, but I still love my backpacks and I still really want to be able to use it on the weekends. Um, so looking for something that's a simple, straightforward bag is really what I'm in the market for during this time of COVID-19. And as a result, I stumbled across a bag company called Able Carry. And uh, they do have three different types of backpacks. The one that I felt I was most interested in is, uh, is called their Daily Carry. Um, I hope that's what it's called. In fact, let me take a quick look. Oh, brother, brain is not functional. Daily Backpack, that's what it's called by Able Carry. Um, and I really do think it nicely fits the needs of what I need to do right now during the, the pandemic. So let's take a look at this pack. Um, you can see here that I got it, it, it comes in multiple different colors and I got it sort of in this sand color. Uh, I really wanted it to look a little bit like the, I'll show you, I have a camera bag that is a one of these canvas camera bags. This is a, a dom key, one of these classic camera bags. And uh, when I saw that Able Carry had a pack that was a similar color pack to my dom key bag, I thought, oh, I gotta go for it because I love this color. It's such a rare thing to see this sort of khaki color out there. So went ahead and got this. Um, and a couple things you should note right away. You can see it's a really, it's a good looking bag. Um, it really has nice clean lines to it. Uh, you, most importantly, it doesn't say Able Carry anywhere on it. Um, and I really respect the fact that they go subtle instead of trying to sort of have me be a walking advertisement for the company. And let me just go ahead and throw it on. You can see how it fits on my body. I'm six feet tall and um, get a sense. So it's not a huge bag. You know, I would actually rate this, you know bag companies have a hard time rating the volume of their bags. I would say this is probably like a 22 liter bag. Uh, and again, since I'm not trying to haul a lot of stuff, given that I'm not doing the same kind of commuting I was before, this really, this fits perfectly for me. So let's take a look around and I can tell you about the things that I really like about this bag. And there are a few things that I don't love about it, but mostly I'm really positive about this. This is, because this is not gonna be um, a typical review that I do because it's not obviously the the typical bag that I look at. I can't really use the same rating systems or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you the bag and then I'll give an overall sense of whether this is a use it or lose it bag for me. So right here in the very front, um, there is a hidden pocket here and they have a key clip here so I can keep my keys on there. And this is also where I keep my wallet, quick access to it. And um, there's nothing else going on here. This is a, pa a pocket that really, it covers the entire front face of the bag, um, top to bottom, nice and clean. Zipper pulls, these are all YKK zippers, by the way, and they have these nylon zipper pulls. Keeps it nice and quiet. Um, also on the front, you'll notice that there are a lot of places where you could attach stuff. I mean, there, I guess you could call this Molly in a way, but it's really stylized Molly. Um, and clearly they have it on the bottom here so that if you want to attach, say, 
a tripod or yoga mat or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. You'd have to supply it with, you know, you have to bring your own straps for this. They don't, they don't have them for you. Um, and also you can see that they have a few of these bits of molly on the side here um, where you can attach some accessory pouches if you wanted to. And also on this side, although there's not as much as you can see on this side as there is on this side of it. Um, the way that they have this, the, the band set up, I think Abel Carey says that in some ways it helps to support the bag, having the, the strips of, of this webbing here. Um, you know, you can see it's continuous with the shoulder strap. And so I think it, it uh, at least they market it as something that helps to support the load of the bag. Okay, so let me go ahead and take a look, have you uh, take a look at the top of the bag here before I go into the main compartment. Um, you can see there's a really nice handle. And again, this is continuous here, right? This is, goes, wraps around the bag significantly. And it's a nice handle. This is a, um, you know, it's the seat belt material, but it has a little bit of foam, it feels like, it, that's in there. It's a really nice handle up here. And this will double also as the handle that I use or the, the, um, the webbing that I use to hook this to the back of my door, the hook on the back of my door. So it's in a good location, right? It's nice and centered. Um, it's not too far forward of the pack so that you can hook it onto a hook on the door. So really it's a, it's a good place there. And then let's go ahead and swing around and take a look at it on the, the back here with a suspension system. Um, you can see here that they have a uh, nice sort of EVA foam. It's lifted up a little bit to give you a little bit more circulation back here. This is not something I typically expect to see in a pack that is a simple design. Oftentimes they just have a fabric back and it gets kind of sweaty. In this case, because it has raised EVA and some mesh here, it actually keeps it nice and cool, right? Good circulation going on there. And similarly, we have the shoulder straps have that same mesh on the front of it very comfortable shoulder strap just enough firmness and padding and you can see we have the uh, adjustable sternum strap there's not a whole lot of adjustment to, to speak of here um, i would say you know four inches worth of adjustment um, it works for me but i'm somebody who really likes to have the bag sit relatively low and so you can see that i have the sternum strap set at its lowest setting on the um, the shoulder straps and then they too have another piece of webbing. And uh, thankfully, because you know, I always need to have something to hook my key card to. So it's only on the one side, only on the right side. And here's one of these nice touches. Um, note here that there is a piece of elastic fabric. Okay. And so it holds your, the excess tails of the adjustable strap that adjusts your shoulder strap right there on both sides and so whoop this one slipped out of there but it just keeps it looking like a nice neat clean package when um, you know you tend not to adjust these very much so once you have it adjusted properly having it all not have extra danglies all over the place I think is is a nice touch there at the very top of the pack here on the back you can see that there's a zippered compartment somewhat hidden and this is where I keep my cell phone now this isn't sort of three-dimensional enough to be able to put my uh, sunglasses into, so I don't do that. It, it's really much flatter than that. But it's shockingly deep. Notice that I can actually put my hand all the way in. It goes all the way to this point right there. So that's a good seven to eight inches worth of depth. And it's, you know, it's about eight inches wide as well. So that's a really sizable amount of space. Um, for whatever you want to put back in there. Maybe you want to put your wallet back there or a passport or something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the main compartment here. And it has an upside down U-shape zipper. Um, again, YKK zippers, nice and stout. These look like number sixes or I'm not sure what they are, but they're, they're good enough for this, uh, what, what I'm asking this bag to do. They don't have to be too heavy duty. And so you can see in here, it's got a, a sort of mid-tone gray, a um, little bit darker than I'd like. Obviously, I'd love it to be bright yellow or white or something so you can see into the, the bottom crevices of the bag, but it's not too bad. Um, and it does have, as you can see here, it has a compartment for a laptop. In this case, I'm keeping my iPad 
in there. It's a this is a one of those 12.9 inch. I think it's the the big iPad. Um, and there isn't another pocket to put your papers or anything into, so it would have to share the same space as your iPad if you need to put papers in here. And then there's a zippered pocket here, mesh pocket, so you can see right into it and have my receipts there. And I have a bag of tissues. And in the front here, you can see there's a little slot for me to put my sunglasses. So rather than having to find a quick access pocket on the top here, it's actually not too bad for me to go in here and put my sunglasses in there and, and certainly keeps them well protected. And another zippered pocket, no mesh in this guy. Um, and this is where I keep a pen, my, uh, my AirPods, my Apple Pencil in that zone. And then in the bottom, this is my uh, camera case. As you all know, I'm always carrying a camera case. So I have, uh, you know, my gum, floss, meds that I might need, etc. And I have my mask. Don't forget to use your mask during the pandemic. Um, and sometimes I'll throw in a, um, you know, a mirrorless camera or something in here. But really what I have this in here to do is to really allow this pack to maintain its shape because um, though it's made out of really stout material, it can be a little bit floppy. And when I have it there, it does allow me to have this bag stand upright. You know, that's something that I really do need to have for my bag. It drives me crazy when bags flop over on their front. Truth be known, if I didn't have that in there and it gets somewhat compressed, there's no way this thing is standing on its own. So that's something to keep in mind if you're somebody who's like me who absolutely must have a bag that stands on its own. Okay, so there you have it. It's it's a fairly simple bag. The one thing I will tell you is that it's it's great craftsmanship. Um, this thing is super well made. I don't see any threads that are loose and flying all over the place. Uh, it's really a well put together bag. It, it feels like um, they're, they slow down and really think about the craftsmanship of making this bag. The material too is also incredibly stout. This is Cordura. Um, it feels like it's the uh, 1000D Cordura at that. So it's not the lightest material, but it's bomb proof. I mean, this stuff is so abrasion resistant um, that you know, you're, you're not gonna wear this bag out. I can tell you that much, okay? Um, another thing I do want to point out to you, and this is, you know, I, I do love the bag and I'm certainly going to use it, but I will tell you that the one weird thing is, you see these little wings here that stick out that um, the shoulder strap is attached to? This little point here, I'm not quite sure why the shoulder strap doesn't come, you know, isn't flush with the edge here, because what happens is this little point, it's, you know, folded over fabric, it's stitched up there nice and stoutly. You can see they double stitched it to hold it in there. Um, but this pokes right into my kidneys and it could just be for me, you know, obviously your body shape, my body shape, they're not exactly the same, but this does poke into me and um, it never got softer. You know, I've been using this now for at least two months or so, probably more like three months. And uh, it doesn't really soften up. It really does poke me and I can feel it every time. Um, so I'm kind of bummed that that's the case. I, I think that if they somehow redesign this, it would be better to have the shoulder strap go right down to the edge so that you don't feel that poking into you. All right, is there anything else I wanna make sure I pass on to you all? Um, oh, I guess I should tell you, this is a very important thing. Um, it does have a fairly stiff um, frame sheet in there that it, it's a closed cell foam. It must be an EVA, but it's a little bit stiffer than just EVA. It feels like there must be something else. But that really, uh, to me, contributes significantly to how well this carries the load because anytime you have something that has a stiff back associated with the, uh, the suspension system, it's gonna make every load that you carry feel a little bit lighter because it just does a better job of holding the load. It spreads the weight across the entire back rather than you know having sort of hot points in the area. So it was really nice of them to put a frame sheet in there. And it also means that if you have anything that's sharp and pokey in your bag, you're not gonna feel it, right? Because it, it actually isolates anything that's in the bag from the back, from your back. All right, so there you have it. 
Um, as you can hear, I really do like this pack. Uh, it's super usable and I have been using it. Um, and so I would certainly recommend it. So this guy is clearly a use it. So go ahead, take a look. Able Carry Daily Backpack. Hope this helps you all. Bye-bye.